Thank you. Jack Foster, you're my And as you probably noticed throughout the day, I bit off a little more than I can chew. So between buttoning him up this afternoon, which was great. I thought it was a joke for the longest time. <laughs> they, they never really let me stop doing it, so it was fine. And uh, bustling, which took 15 minutes. It wasn't bad. No, it was bad. Yeah. So it's been a busy day. And I thought a long time before writing this of what I was going to say. What am I going to say? What am I going to say? And I thought, well, what would Kim do? So I wrote it this morning. Yes. <laughs> and have it rehearsed. So ever since I first met Kim in the 90s, <laughs> um, I've looked for her to, for guidance and friendship. And she's taught me the lessons in life, some of which are more painful than the others. But she swears that none of it was on purpose. <laughs> she yelled that at me before we walked in. <laughs> Behind some mirrors. Um, and as time passed, as I grew up over the last 23 years, you've remained the princess of the family, and I've become the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so it works out. And all of, that, all of that was pretty good for a while, uh, until Kevin came along. <laughs> and in, in what seemed like an overnight campaign, uh, he mercilessly usurped myself and all other possible contenders for the role of favorite grandchild, favorite nephew, favorite cousin, favorite child of the family, and it was an entirely clean sweep. <laughs> and I'm still kind of getting over that. So we'll get back to it. What makes this even harder to deal with is that you can't hate Kevin. I mean, like, come on. It's Kevin. He lights up a room, constantly strives to make everyone's life around him easier, and is loyal to no end in family, work, and life. I can think of no better match for my sister because of his qualities. So I see all the joy that they bring each other when we're all together, and which is common. We frequently have a squat car parked out of our house. And I didn't do anything. <laughs> but I see when we're all together the joy that Kim and Kevin bring each other, the love that they share, and a rare ease to the everyday companionship that most women need, me included. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you, Kim, is don't mess with yourself. I think you've heard that before. You say Mostly, mess, you? what? You weren't going to say mess, were you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that mostly because, as Dad said, there are plenty of people in this room that would love to marry Kevin if you <laughs> Kevin, we are so delighted to welcome you to the family. And as you have become such an immense part of Kim's life, you became a son to my mom and dad. And you became a brother to me and Ronnie. And everyone will agree that you've become a pillar to the family. In celebrating today, I hope that you do not get too comfortable. <laughs> I'm coming for that favorite label, <laughs> but I figure I'll give you a little bit more. So, to Kim and Kevin. Yeah. Thank you.